Lesson 15, Namespace Essentials. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new empty console project and add a new C++ file named main.cpp to it. We went over local and global scope before and talked about how naming clashes arise when variables have global scope. I stated then that to avoid clashes, we want to declare our variables as locally as possible. Namespaces give us another option for reducing clashes. Instead of making a variable global, for instance, we can declare it inside of a namespace like this. The namespace gives us a convenient way of referring to a variable that will not clash with other global variables. Here the namespace declaration tells the compiler that everything that is declared inside the braces must be referred to by using the namespace name and the scope resolution operator. Namespaces allow me to define my version of a variable, and you to define your version. Using namespaces, both of them are accessible, and there is no naming clash. All of this is not really new to us. In fact, we have been using namespaces since our first Hello World program back in Lesson 1. Here, std is a namespace which is defined in the file iostream. This explains the syntax that we have been using for some time now. Typing the name of a namespace in the scope resolution operator before every item that we use can get tedious. To alleviate this, C++ offers a few options with the using command. Here we use two using declarations to allow us to refer to cout and inline without using the namespace and scope resolution qualifier. Using declarations have blockwise scope just like everything else, and we should always make their usage as local as possible to avoid clashes. As an alternative to the using declaration, we can make a single using directive. A using directive allows us to use anything from the namespace without qualification. A further note of caution is in order here. You will often see Hello World programs with a using directive in the global scope like this. While this does not cause a problem for this short program, putting a using directive in global scope is bad practice as it defeats the whole purpose of namespaces. For example, these two using directives will cause a naming clash and create a compilation error. We can put virtually anything into a namespace too. Variables, functions, and even other namespaces. When nesting namespaces, we need to use the scope resolution operators for each level of the namespace. Finally, we might wish to create an abbreviated name for a namespace. This can happen if a name is long and cumbersome, or if there are multiple levels of namespace nesting. In this case, declare a short namespace name and set it equal to the longer name. Then we can use the short name just as we would the longer name. As always, we have to be careful with our scope. Short namespace names are more likely to clash, while longer names are cumbersome and make less readable code. This concludes the lesson.